Hello, YouTube family. Welcome to our channel, How We Live Outdoors. And we're gonna take you on a garden tour today. And my husband is gonna do the driving and explain to you all the different plants we have, what we're growing, and the time frame and when we're looking at harvesting and take you on a journey of how it all started. Let's start over here. Got some collard greens growing. And we have some previous videos that we'll post as well that'll show you guys like the whole journey. Got some eggplants growing here, onions. And a lot of this we kind of like freestyling because this is our first time doing it. Got rosemary growing in, German thyme. And I'll show a previous video when this looked a lot smaller than what it does now. We took the netting off. That way everything can get good sun and let the pollinators come out and do their thing. I got some sweet potatoes growing right here. So I'll get the slips off of those and replant them. Not sure how long it's to take, but I watched a YouTube video, so we, we go figure it out. <laughs> yes, we're gonna figure it out. All right. Man, take a look at those jalapenos popping in there. You see them? We got red bell peppers, green bell peppers, yellow bell peppers. We got some jalapenos, poblanos. Oh, that, man, look at that sweet banana pepper. We might need some help, guys. Is it time to harvest that or what? I put some cardboard at the bottom because I didn't want it to touch the soil. We got some basil. And man, we've already tried some of this stuff. It is good. Oh, I just noticed that, look. We got a pepper going right there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Now what is that? Oh, that's gonna be a red bell pepper. All right, we took the net off again. We also cleaned the bed out a little bit, so it had some weeds growing in, but we cleared that out already. Look at, the, listen to the chime. Listen to the chime. I love that noise. All right. We got some okra here. So that's coming in pretty good. Celery, it's been real tough, but we got some sprouts, so you guys see that. Give us some feedback on the celery. We have been a little, we've been struggling to grow celery and I've heard it's been pretty much a challenge for most gardeners. So give us some feedback, give us some comments, share it with somebody that can give us some tips. Got some cauliflower growing here real good. Brussels sprouts, more okra. These are Yukon gold potatoes. Parsley is always doing well. Just keep that watered. Habanero peppers, oh look, you can see, growing in pretty good. Some kale, it's like a garden mix. So I got some Roma tomatoes, some cherry red tomatoes. See one is already turning red, that's good. Got some mustard, giant red. Garlic, coming in. Mandarin oranges, I'm not sure how long that's going to take before we start seeing it fruit, but maybe a couple of years, but you got to start somewhere. Uh, Maya lemons. What is this right here? Aren't these the cucumbers? Yeah, cucumbers here. Got some more Yukon golds. Purple hull peas back there coming in good. We got butternut squash. I just recently started trying that and it's off the chain, so definitely want to put some of that in the garden got some yellow sweet corn coming in we just started this about a week ago see the little sprouts right there the sprouts more sprouts I want to have proper spacing so I don't know I'm gonna have to probably thin that out let's go to the planter got the curly kale there's actually two types of kale going in there I can't think of what the other name was but it's two types that we started from seeds so you can see that we got the carrots going. And that's like a mixed carrot, wasn't it? Like yeah, different color. Purple, white, and yellow. All right. And the spinach coming in. Going good. And this stuff started from seed, so pretty happy about that. Mustard greens coming in. We thinned it out at one time, but Definitely got to go now. probably got to do another round of thinning those out. Find the strongest plants. You want to go talk about the trellis? So check this out. We got the trellis going. We actually built those pots. Yeah, we built those pots using some cedar. 
Yeah, we got some uh, advice from uh, one of the guys that worked there, and he was saying that Sela kind of repels what he said, like insects and stuff, and don't mold. Exactly, and then it's, it's more natural. It don't, it's not treated like other lumber is, so it's not going to put in any type of toxins or anything inside of our garden. So just wanted to be safe and just stick with all the natural stuff. Right. So we got some yellow crook neck squash, early girl tomatoes, sweet millions, some cucumbers, more burpless cu cucumbers. These were some type of eggplant. I can't remember. What was the name of those? I figured out because I think I got it labeled on the other side. Some Kentucky blue pole beans. That's some grapes right here just growing up the trellis. And that's the overall goal. We want to be able to make all of these plants just cover this trellis. I'll take a look. Let's go to the other side. So I had some leftover mustard greens, so I started them in these smaller pots. Y'all can see that here and here. This grape tree is doing well. You can see it's already attaching itself to the trellis and trying to grow up it. So hopefully we see some good fruit off of that. All right, the other side, pretty much a duplicate of the other side and we hoping that they connect in the middle. So same thing as you can see. And now I can find out what type of eggplants that was. Let's take a look. So Black Beauty eggplants, more Kentucky blue pole beans. I know the deer may seem out of place, but I got a crossbow, so I use that for target practice every once in a while. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. We do have some more updates coming. Like we have a green stalk, and this started out as just two beds over here, and we just started going from there. It's like we just went down this rabbit hole, so I'm not sure where we are gonna stop at. But you guys let us know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Anything else you want to say? And share our video, How We Live Outdoors.